So our final analysis in this exercise is the one-way ANOVA. And in SAS, the one-way ANOVA is something that will run using the command proc ANOVA. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. Uh, I won't need to bring up the, the documentation, although you certainly can. There's a link to the documentation there if you want to read in more detail. Uh, it's going to open with the proc ANOVA statement. Um, then we need to declare our classification variables. We'll then do a model statement in which the dependent variable, preweight, uh, is predicted by group membership. Um, and then we're going to wrap up with the means statement uh, to report the means for, uh, for each group. And we'll use the slash Tukey statement to run Tukey's HSD um, to do pairwise comparisons of each group. So here we've got our PROC ANOVA statement. We're using the anorexia data set. The variable called group defines the treatment group. We want to know about differences in pre-weight for this research question because we're testing for any significant differences pre-treatment. Um, and in the end, we want it to report means for each group and then test for significant pairwise comparisons using the two keys test. So we'll go ahead and run this. All right, so the ANOVA table here is what we're gonna to use to report the F test of significance for the ANOVA procedure. Our degrees of freedom are here, the P value is here, and the F value. So we'll need that information. Then here's the Tukey's HSD pairwise comparisons, and it gives the differences between each group, um, and it flags comparisons that are significant at the 0.05 alpha level, but none of these are flagged. So there's no differences uh, between any of the groups. So now we need to paste this output into our document and write up the results. Now, to write up these results, you'll notice when you look at the, the boilerplate text that non-significant results require much less writing than significant results. Um, we need to be able to give the descriptives for each individual group, but we also um, need to specify which groups are signi signif significantly different than the other groups. Um, it also occurs to me, though, that we have the differences between means, but not the means themselves. So we need to go run a quick proc means. So the difference in this command from when we used it up above is that we've inser inserted the by statement. So it's gonna report the, the means in this data set of the pre-weight variable, but it's gonna report it by separate group. So this will give us the um, descriptives that we need for each of the groups for the pre-treatment weight. So I'll need to clip this into my document as well.
Now by making that just a little bit smaller, I was able to squeeze them both in, makes it easier to, to see everything. So in writing up the results now, So I've written out the framework here. There is no difference in the pretreatment body weight of patients with anorexia, whether assigned to the behavioral treatment group, the family treatment group, or to the control or to the control group. Uh, and then I've sort of inserted a spot to put the mean and standard deviation of each of the three groups, as well as the standard format for reporting the F test and the effect size of the F-test, which is omega squared. Now I just need to get these values from the tables up above. The behavioral treatment group was group one, so that those numbers are all here. The family group, family treatment was group two, and the control was group three, so let me fill those in. And then the numbers for reporting the F-test come from this top table up here. The degrees of freedom, this is the numerator, that's the denominator, the model over error. And then the F-value and the P-value are reported over here. Now, to calculate the omega squared uh, effect size, let's go ahead and open our effect size calculator. We need the sum of squares between, which the, the sum of squares between groups is between the three groups being exam, uh, examined. So the degree of freedom is equal to the number of groups minus one. So that's the, the two here. This sum of squares is the value that we want. Sum of squares total is this one down at the bottom here, the corrected total. Uh, I took that number from the wrong place. The mean square within is this one right here, the mean square column. So the, the one that says error is the within groups uh, so I need to put the 27. So the omega squared that I have is a negative 0 0.011. Again, effect sizes, um, the, the directionality of an effect size only sometimes makes sense. Uh, the size of the effect, it doesn't matter whether it's positive or negative, it's, it's the uh, magnitude of it that we're interested in, so we'll re report the absolute value of this. So our omega value is 0, 1, 1, and according to our interpretation guidelines, that is definitely a small effect. These interpretation guidelines come from the field text, so instead of citing Cohen, I've cited field. So that's how you would perform the one-way ANOVA for the example exercise. Go ahead and give it a shot with the homework exercise on your own.